So let's say you have a product project coming up and you want to brainstorm and iterate on some ideas to present to your client. For this project, the client is a local technology company and they want to feature some new marketing with the Beats headphones, right? And they've given you a basic product shot. You know, it's the same thing you always get from people and have asked you to come up with some concepts. And I think most people using Midjourney would simply try a bunch of different prompts just to see what happens. The problem with this is that it takes time. It can even maybe drain your creative energy. And especially if you don't really have a lot anyway, right? You, and you don't want to waste any time on ideas that simply don't pan out. And so today I'm going to show you a handy trick that you can use to discover new directions for your projects. So this is only going to have one prompt. That's all you need, just one prompt. By the time this video ends, you'll have a new creative workflow for your projects that will save you time, create better work, and probably help you make more money. So let's get started. All right, so hey, we're in Mid Journey, and as you can see, we already have our prompt loaded as well as our headphone product shot right here in the Omni reference section. We've got our prompt, uh, headphones, and then the major thing I wanna show you is that we're using the power permutations uh, command. That's our one prompt idea. Now, I know you might've seen videos about this before, so don't hang up now. I've got something really killer to show you, and there's a reason why we're doing it this way, right? So just hang tight. So we've got these different ideas, and these are art ideas and photography styles and just some different concept stuff. And I'm not going to read them all just because there's a lot of things. And also I should note that this prompt is a little long, so you can't really see the whole thing. So let's scroll down a little. So we've got our power permutations and it says product shot and then uh, emphasis on negative space. Now, the reason I'm using emphasis on negative space is because we want to leave some empty areas for text or logos and that type of stuff. And we don't really know what Midjourn is gonna give us. Of course, we can always edit and move things around with the editor, but we wanna put that in the prompt now just so we have some room for it, okay? And then also you'll see that I've got my Omni reference set to 80. The default here is 100, you know, it goes from zero to 1,000. And the Omni weight is, you're telling Midjourney, hey, make it look just like the image. And of course, a thousand gets you more like the image and zero gets you less. The default is a hundred. And I like to be just a little bit under that when I start. Doesn't mean that's where I'm gonna end up, but that's where I like to start, right? So let's go ahead and roll this. And what we're gonna have is, it's gonna create all of these different images. I believe there's 11 concepts. So we're creating 44 images right away. Now, I'll tell you that I've got the highest mid-journey plan and maybe this is too many for you. If you're on a lower plan, you might just wanna do, you know, three or four. So just know that going in, let's see what we get. Okay, so it's finished and we have 11 prompts uh, variations times four. That's 44 different images. Now, I will tell you that, of course, not all of these are going to be the most incredible things you've ever seen, like this pink one right here. Just really doesn't do much for me. But I really like the one right here with, with the young woman on her phone, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through these and I'll find the ones that I really like. All right, so I sorted through all the images that we created and I've, I've got seven that I like and I want to go through these. So this one was using the uh, charcoal sketch look and I really like how this looks. Now, the thing, another thing I need to throw out here, of course, is that, of course, Mid Journey doesn't, it's an image creator and everything it does is going to have little details like in here, there's these little markings. These probably aren't on the headphones. So if you get stuff like this, you might have to do some editing. Remember, this is just for concept stuff. We can edit and clean up later, okay? 
here's our next idea, which was this thermal photography look. I uh, really like the colors on this. I thought this was kind of a, an amazing kind of a look and feel. And then we've got this one, I believe the cinematic photography one. Uh, we've got this one, which is a hero shot one. And then we've got two urban streetwear ones that I really like. And then we've got the selfie one that we showed you earlier, right? So what's really great about these is that we can take some of these concepts and start playing around with them, right? And I want to show you how to do that real quick. And then I've got an amazing thing. I want to show you how you can jailbreak new ideas from one of these things and even come up with even more concepts, right? So let's just take the urban ones that we liked. Let's take this one right now. We like it, but let's say we want some different things that are just like it. We could do very strong and we could also do very subtle, right? Now, this is going to give us some ideas. The very subtle is like, it's gonna look almost like this, subtle differences. Very strong is gonna give us four images that are similar, but not exact, which is a, another way of getting it. But here's the cool thing I wanna show you which is the uh, new thing that I've been playing around with a lot, which is this power search tool. So we've got our prompt and let's put it in here. Headphones, urban streetwear, blah, 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 right? And we do our power search, just hit search image. Oop, excuse me, go to explore. So after I click the power search button, it takes you right here to the explore tab with images. And then when we click styles, the styles it shows are reflective of the artwork that Mid Journey gave us. And so if you click these, you can try the style, try that one and let's do one more. like that kind of casual 1970s kind of look. Let's try that one. Now, um, I got to tell you, it's real easy to get all click happy. Beware, okay? I've had like 9, 10, 15 of these rolling at once just because I was trying out styles, okay? So we'll scroll back up. So here are the ones we're working on. Don't you just love this color palette and this vibe? Here is the product, right? Imagine your logo and your copy right here. Here's the other SREF we were trying out. Looks great. Now here's our very strong. And then here is the very subtle. This is how you can take any of these images that you really like and then start playing around with them and find other images that are kind of close, but also you could just start dialing in these ideas and all of a sudden in a matter of no time, you've got some killer ideas that you could present to your client, right? And I'm dying to see the one with the thermal color. I want to play with that one real quick. So I want to see this one. So let's get the prompt, thermal heat map, right? And let's hit our power, power search. Go up here to styles. And let's do two of these. Let's do that one. I just like that guy's face. Maybe that one. This one's kind of soft. So here are the results. What do you think? They're kind of interesting. Some of these, you know, I don't like it's blurry, right? 
can't really use those. Those are failures, <laughs> okay? But these aren't, right? This is the reason why sometimes you just don't know, you gotta play with it, right? I wanna show you that they're failures. You know, sometimes you just gotta see what you get and sometimes you don't get the results that you want, right? It's okay. You can always go try other things. Let's recap. So remember, here's the starting point. It's an image and a wish from the client to quote unquote, do something cool. So we wanna Use mid journey to kind of iterate and give some different direction because we're going to be creating some marketing pieces for them. And after only a few minutes of effort, we get a decent collection of work. And I want to scroll through those and show you the prompts and uh, everything with it kind of pop up after. And I'll make a comment on each one of these. And most of these were created using iterations from free things very subtle, very strong, or the power search techniques that I showed you in finding an SREF code and then re-rolling that a couple times. If you're a fan of SREF codes, I'm gonna share all that with you with these, so don't worry. All right, so here's the first one. I really like how this turned out. Of course, this is the art magazine style, right? And this also had an SREF code baked in. We have another product shot. Except this one was different. This one was pen and ink with watercolor illustration, believe it or not. And here's the SREV code for that one. And this one was cinematic photography. So notice how all three of these have a different look and feel, but they're kind of similar. They all started with really different prompt uh, words and phrases, and we're using the SREF codes and different things. This is how they wind up. It's the journey that gets you there. And I really like this kind of a lifestyle kind of look where the headphones are hanging out on the, the edge of the couch or whatever, ready to be picked up and used. Here's a great selfie shot, right? A young woman here with her selfie and uh, she's Wearing the, wearing the product. And here's the SREF code that goes with that. Here's another one, a guy walking around on the streets, looks like a city. Social media selfie style, believe it or not, even though he's not taking a picture or looking at the camera, it's that was the prompt. And then you can see the SREF code that goes with this one. So I like this one a lot. This one has, of course, the prompt is urban streetwear style. And this one, I combined two SREF codes and it's got that kind of Grand Theft Auto kind of look. I really like this one. Here's another urban streetwear style, same SREF code pairing. Here's back to social media selfie and with the SREF, different SREF code. Here's one social media selfie style, an SREF code. And this one, I think I generated probably about six or eight versions of this guy. I really like this one the best because he looks like he's waiting on the bus, thinking about something you know, his girlfriend, or he needs to pick up some beer on the way home. I don't know, but he's thinking about something. Here's more of a drawing. And so it doesn't have to be photography. And the uh, the prompt here was charcoal sketch. And there's the SREF code that you can use. Here's more of a, gra a graphite style. This was the original image. I iterated a whole bunch of stuff and I just like this one better, frankly. Here's graphic illustration. This is the, the first one we did, the original one. And this was kind of the updo on that one. I really like the black with the colors, even though this might not work because obviously that those headphones don't 
come colored like that. It kind of gives the impression of colors, like disco colors, I guess. And here's one pen and ink with watercolor. Now this one doesn't have an SREF code. This is just the image that we received. Thermal heat map. I like this one a lot because it kind of looks like the background is emulating maybe sound waves or something. And I could just see a bunch of copy and stuff on top of this, right? And here's the SREF code for that. Here's another selfie one. Here's one. She's hanging out, checking her test messages. This one's kind of cool. It gives you kind of a blurry thing, but notice that the product is the only thing that's kind of in focus. I, I kind of like that a lot, but I thought this was very interesting. More dudes hanging out. And here's the last one with the kind of 70s look. This was really cool. You remember this from earlier? All right, so that's really everything. I would love it if you would try these techniques out in the comments below. Uh, let us know how it works. Did you find something that you like? Did you discover a new SREF code that's your favorite? help us out. We want to know what's going on. And then also, if you want to learn more about how to use MidJourney as a creative professional, we've got a space for you. It's on the school community platform, MidJourney Experience Academy. Hey, come hang out with us. We'd love to see you there. The link, by the way, is right there in the description. Just click that, start hanging out with us. Love to see you there. We do a live Zoom call every single Tuesday where you can come and ask questions and have some fun. Thanks for watching.